Hey there guys, and thank you for coming back to my review channel for today's review. We got some of this here, Liquid Death. This is mountain water, drinking water from the Alps. Murder your thirst is the catchphrase on the bottom of the can. And uh, this is being sold in 7-Elevens, but this is being inappropriately displayed in the alcohol section. I'm not going to lie, this definitely does look like a can of uh, some alcoholic beverages. But that is not the case. Uh, this is basically like seltzer water for lack of better terms just you know uh mountain water is what this one is called this infinitely recyclable can of stone cold mountain water came straight from the alps to murder your thirst when a group of teenagers set off into the mountains for a weekend of drinking regular water in plastic bottles they became hunted by an aluminum can of mountain water that was dead set on murdering their thirst and recycling their souls once cracked open no thirst is safe from liquid death after ritually dismembering its thirst victims, this brutal can of water used the severed body parts of the dead thirst to build itself a flesh suit, which it used as a disguise to get a job in marketing. But Liquid Death never took the job. It just murdered a bunch more thirsts instead. Death to Plastic. We donate 10% of every profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. That's really nice. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Uh, this is bottled at Frankenmutter, Frank Austria. Uh, average aluminum can contains 70% recycled material. Average plastic bottle only contains 3%. That's pretty wild. Recycle or die. So, liquid death, mountain water. Let's get in there. Let's crack this bad boy open. I'm not going to lie. I do like the little story on the side. This literally just tastes like, like water, like just basic water. Like what a, I'm not going to lie though. If this is crisp, I can't remember the last time I had water in a can. Uh, it is definitely crisp. Like for like, I don't know how to describe it. I guess clean. It's a clean, it's a crisp, definitely a crisp water. It is crisp. But it's just that. It's just water. Nothing special about it. No additives, none of that. There isn't even a, there isn't even a nutrition facts on this can because this is just literally mountain water. It, it, I can't believe how crisp it tastes. This has got to be the crispest water I think I have ever tried. I will say this, though. If you are interested in purchasing this, this costs roughly about a dollar, let's say $1.79 inside of 7-Elevens. Um, it's being inappropriately displayed, though, with the alcohol because it does resemble an alcoholic beverage. But uh, I'm definitely going to... I'm going to get a couple more cans of this. I'm going to have Meg try this in all honesty and see her reaction because this has got to be, in my opinion, that this is like the best water ever. Way better, way crisper than Poland Spring. Now, Poland Spring has a clean, refreshing taste, whereas this one has the clean, refreshing taste, but it's crisp. As soon as it hits your palate, the water, it's like, whoa, it's water. But uh, I, I enjoy this, I'm not going to lie. Like I said, I will definitely pick up another can or two of this because I want to see what Meg's reaction is to this product. Um, I would definitely buy this again as opposed to buying like a Poland Spring. Uh, to be honest, this is a 16.9 fluid ounce. Poland Spring is being sold roughly in a 20 ounce uh, bottle. Costs about $1.80, so for four, cent, for four ounces less, you can get a crisper taste. And in my opinion, that crispness does make the difference. So I would be looking to purchase more of this. As always, my name is Johnny5. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. And if you did, you give me a thumbs up. You show me some love in the comment box down below. If you're new to this channel, it's the first video you catch. There's a lot more content coming, and you're not going to miss a thing. Subscribe in the corners, and ring that bell. Daily uploads here. And uh, what that means is Monday through Friday, you get a food or drink review, just like this one. Saturday or Sunday, you get a vape review with a little bit extra sprinkle there on top. If you enjoy my content, you very well could enjoy a close friend of mine, Jay Gleazy. Keep it easy and check out some Jay Gleazy. He'll be in the description box down below. And you guys, be good, be safe, and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one. Later, taters.